Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Johnny, how are you? Looks like everybody just got connected and that's it. <laughs> hey, Elvin, good evening, how are you? Hey, hello, good evening. I am very happy because uh, tomorrow is day off. <laughs> Independence day. day. No, but we have classes. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but uh, I, uh, I I am not going to to work for for that is okay for me. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, don't go don't go out. Don't go out. Yeah. They said it's gonna be crazy. So we better be safe at home with the family instead. Oh my God, we were, where, where are the others? <laughs> We're just six right now. Yeah. Maybe it's Friday for some people, so. <laughs> yeah. Typical Salvadorian. Okay, how do you break the ice on a conversation? In my case, I, I try to to find a topic in common with the other person. Find a topic uh, in common with... Sometimes I see his or her shirt or if wear not, something like that I know, I that is a, that, that helps to me for break the ice. That Breaking helps you. Ice. That helps you to break the ice. Yeah, that's true. In that, in this case, for con breaking, no se no sería breaking the ice for breaking the ice. For breaking the ice, that's okay. right. That helps me. Not to me, but that helps me breaking the ice. Okay. True. 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 So how was your day, guys? Hello, how was your day? Was good, I think. Awesome, awesome. Whoa. <laughs> Lights off. I have to figure out this thing here. Okay. So today we're going to have fun in the class. We're going to start with an open topic so you can just have a conversation with your classmates. That's the whole idea. And then we're going to jump into the topic, okay? You want to see something cool? You want to see something cool? Yes, we want. Yeah. Let me show you. That's my car. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's red that right is now. That's the car of your dreams. No, that's my car. Well, it actually, it actually, no, really, it, it actually looks like this right now. It looks uh, on red, exactly like this. But of course, I will, I will go improving little by little, you know. It requires yeah. a lot of money <laughs> to put it that way. Yeah. To be this way, it's gonna take a lot of money for sure. But eventually, little by little, they, they just brought it back from the shop. I had fixed the brakes and the clutch and I'm ready for classes or live classes. So I'm getting ready for that. Okay, guys. So today to start the class, to break the ice, I thought about something interesting and I want you to help me. Can you mention on the chat, on the Zoom chat, can you mention 
one interesting topic. So this is the idea. I want us to talk about important things. That's the topic. What are important things in our modern age? Okay, what are important things in our modern age? For example, um, if I tell you about uh, migration, not immigration, not immigration, but migration, uh, what can you tell? What can you tell about migration? Is it important? Is it relevant? Okay. Yes, I think it is important and there are pull factors and push factors that lead someone to take the decision of moving to another country. Uh, some pull factors, okay, pull factors, you follow me? Pull factors are a better life for their family, better income, better jobs, job opportunities. Um, in general, everything is better. Pull factors, okay? Pull factors. That's in the other country, but push factors, push factors, okay? What are push factors? Um, could be in El Salvador. Right now in our country, we have low um, employment opportunities. Um, what else? There's not too many bad things anymore, I think. Crime, there's still some crime. Um, I don't know, the laws don't apply for everybody equally. So I think it's very important for some people to migrate. And it's always something positive. I mean, you get to know other countries, right? And this is the point. So I talk about migration. What other topics can you talk about? very wide topics. Mm -hmm. Do hobbies, perhaps? Hobbies, okay, hobbies, yeah. What about the weather? Come on, general topics. Economy. Economy, where? Right, economy. What else? Come on, Healthy. Think. Hello. Health. Okay, in general, very good. Health. What else? COVID. A huge, huge list of politics, religion, sports. Uh, it's a lot of things that we can talk about. War, if you, war if you want to. Yeah. Job opportunities, job opportunities. Okay, now keep in mind, you need to say why are these things important, okay? For the society, for you, for your family, for us in general, okay? So choose a topic and have a conversation with your classmates. This is part of the topic of today, okay? Of the next topic on your book. So try to do it. You got it? Try to speak, yeah. saying why something is important. What is involved on that topic? Can implica ese tema, okay? Me cayó una llamada. Me cayó una llamada en español. I was like, uh, señora, no, usted no sabe, pero es que le ha pasado algo bien feo. Lamento mucho escuchar lo que le ha pasado. I was like, why am I speaking like that, right? What's so weird? Okay, let's go. Let's get together and talk, 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 talk. Be careful, Renee. Thank <laughs> you. 
that is uh, easy topic. Why not? It's, it's, yes. Most of most of you are pro in technology. Nah. Yes or no? Today was the the Apple conference about the new products like new iPhone, new iPad. Um, they talk, talk about talked about um, the new operating system named Monterey and another things about Apple. In my opinion, Apple is for people who want to spend money and doesn't don't care about how much the, it costs. Instead of things about uh, how functional you have the device. In my case, uh, I don't have choice to use that technology because I I develop a application for a iOS system. I really? work with with iPhones and iPads, and I have for for doing the application for Apple. I I have to use a Mac, Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, only uh, Apple products. I have to, to, to use, we, you can uh, develop an uh, application on a normal computer like with, with Windows. You, you have to use uh, an, an Apple computer for doing you know, that. You know, I always wondered why, for example, you cannot use TikTok on a regular PC, you know, like record videos to TikTok from a regular PC. And I need to do that, but I don't know how. I need to uh, investigate. <laughs> I guess uh, you can use BlueStacks, I think. Yes, but the problem is to confu configure your camera for from your PC that BlueStack identified the camera because I don't know see if the capability is there. That's my point. I mean, how, you, how do you do it? I mean, I think TikTok needs to recognize your PC as a as a cell phone, right? Uh, maybe if you install a a, a camera, external camera, maybe right. just a recognize. Correct. That's my point, but it doesn't do it. Um, if you go to the website, if you download the app, the desktop app. It doesn't work. It doesn't recognize the camera. I don't know why. Uh, I don't use TikTok, but maybe there is a, a limited limited about the, the the device that that you are using. Yeah, there's a limitation. I don't know why. And it's the same. If you do a search for a video on TikTok on your PC, it doesn't work the same as the app. So mm. That's really odd. And it's very useful to have those things on the on the computer. I guess I will try Instagram instead. Mm. Eh. I, don't, I, don't, I don't like those. I don't like them too. I mean, I, I like to watch videos, you know, it's funny, but for my job, for my project, oh, yeah. it's on videos. So I, I need. Yeah, it's helpful. Yeah. It's so helpful if you can use it for uh, share content for, for soon. Yeah, that's that's the, that's my point. I need to create impact very soon. I need to create impact with the videos that I will be uploading. But is it, it's not copyrighted those videos? Yeah, it will be. <laughs> it will be. It will be copyrighted. Hopefully, very soon. Okay, keep going. <laughs> okay, Alexander, I don't know if driving or why. What are Renee is driving? No, but. Look at Alexander is kind of. He's um, playing. He's pe playing Mario Kart. I think. I I sh I think so. Oh really, Betty La Fea? Come on. Wow, no. <laughs> okay. A, no. Country is a is difficult for the. For the opportunity for the recommendation. Yeah. What about you, Albi? Uh, I think uh, um, uh, there are there are uh, there are um, 
there are sure opportunity uh, because it's very necessary you you study um, a, a study a career studying English uh, actually uh, the company uh, give uh, this um, this uh, this uh, uh, let me see this uh, uh, um, se me fue la idea. <laughs> this uh, is uh, it, a necessary study because when you study, uh, up there are more opportunity or open uh, opportunity for you. Uh, this country is so difficult when you, when you um, have uh, no uh, it's difficult uh, you have a, a good job because the the salary is very is very down uh, very, very low very low sorry uh, if you want uh, uh, if you want a salary good, you can uh, you you can have uh, or you can need a experience uh, for the different uh, job because the company uh, is it is attractive when you have uh, so so a lot a lot of experience, uh, but in in computer another country and this country is so 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 very difficult uh, uh have a good a good job hey okay, very good i'm sorry let me make a pause here salaries are very low uh wages no. you can also say wages are low um experience experience Experience. 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 There you go. Experience. Okay. A salary better. A better salary. A better salary. A, a better. A better salary. 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 Mm -hmm. There you go. A better salary. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Uh, what about you, Miguel? We are talking about job opportunities in El Salvador. What can you tell us about that? Okay. Well, in my company, for example, uh, I I have more opportunity because because when when they uh, have have plaza, como se dice, or when they have employees in the company. Yes, I mean, uh huh. How do you say plazas disponibles? Mm, I know, back. let me remember. Available um, positions. Yes, available position. Uh -huh. And they have available positions? Yeah, okay. Well, in this in this place, uh, we, we first enter in internal competition, for example. Oh. Um, depend. I'm sorry. Depend. <laughs> Depend of of your experience. For example, if you if you if you do very good your work in human resource, uh, you are you are very important for for day. But for example, in my case, the salary uh, no is bad, but no is the better. It's not. It's not. It's not bad, but it's not yeah. better. But it's not better. Mm -hmm. But I think that your uh, your opportunity depends of your experience and the force that uh, you do your work. Yeah. So dif different different company prefer experience than start. Uh, Career or studies? Some there are different company, but 
uh, in this country prefer experience and then, then evaluate a skill. Okay, they prefer capable people over competent people. Okay. You're capable of doing something, but you may not be competent. Having the competencies to perform a job is different. Yeah, okay. Right. You 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 are competent, Elvin. You are very competent. You have an engineering uh, yeah. career, right? Ada, yeah. Ada is extremely competent. She's a yeah. doctor. She's a surgeon. Oh my god, <laughs> that's very being very competent. But some like me, for example, I'm not competent. I have the experience. I'm capable of teaching with ex the experience. You got it. You got it. Good job. And Miguel, they first look into the internal pool, okay, the internal labor pool. And if you are good, you are very important for they, uh, for them. For them. Mm -hmm. They're very important for them. Do you understand the internal labor pool? Yeah, it's, yes. No sé si es como concurso interno. Uh, yeah, it's similar. Um, is the labor pool is el, el, como el bucket que tienen de empleados. La bolsa de, de, de empleados que tienes disponible. There's internal and an external labor pool. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Okay, keep going. More topics. We're almost done. Almost done. Okay, now we make sure it's another topic because we all talk about job opportunities right now. What can be the second topic? Just one. Mm. Antonio, I think that. Uh, Antonio, I think that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> what topic are you talking about? What is happening? But also, the Sandra vaccine, is here. The vaccine for kids. We we're talking about the question. Oh. The vaccine doses? Mm -hmm. Vaccine is COVID for, for kids. For kids is true. I heard. Yeah. Oh. oh my so, God. Yeah. She was she was saying that, that, that she didn't. She, Sorry that she won't um, allow that that her baby uh, take the, the well, vaccine. And but uh, I was. I guess you're traveling, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that sound is so funny. It reminds me of the frog. La ranita. <laughs> and it sounds like, okay. and, and I cannot mute her. Sorry. Yeah. They're breaking up really bad, Isela. Carla, huh? Uh, I said, Isela. Uh, so I am afraid uh, take my take my take my son mm -hmm. uh, for vaccine for vaccine COVID because uh, uh, I don't know how to how to work in the in my kid. Uh, some people have uh, side effects, and I don't. Uh, I don't know uh, how to do with my with my son. Yeah, I, I was reading an article that there were not enough tests, you know, mm -hmm. that proved that the vaccine is efficient. So it's not advisable. It's not advisable to have the kids vaccinated yet. 
to have your kids vaccinated. Yes. And and also they, they can create their own um, defenses, right? They can create their own immune defenses. I think, yeah, the same way. Okay. I don't think I'm taking my kids to get the shots. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. I'll be gone. Hey. Interesting. Very interesting topics. Let me see. Johnny. Hi, teacher. What was your group talking about? Our group, the the principal topic was the <laughs> soccer. Uh, soccer? Uh, I thought you were going to say beer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, the now the soccer. Hey. <laughs> that was the other topic. The, the, the beer was the second topic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's Alan? Hey, teacher, I, I don't know what happened with the, the Barcelona today. I didn't know. I didn't know they were playing. They played? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was it bad? Yeah. They Too lost? Bad. They lost 3-0. Three, 3-0 zero. Three, three, zero. Zero versus who? Bayern Munich. Bayern. The Bayern of Munich. The Munich of Bayern. Munich, Bayern. Bayern Munich. Really? And that's German. That's the German team, right? Yeah. I love German stuff. I don't yeah. know why, but I love the German culture. And I don't know, since I was a kid, I'm, I'm a fan of the German culture. And like three, like three or four times, <laughs> three or four times I have been told by customers on the call centers. I mean, I worked for 16 years already in call centers and Five times I've heard you have a Dutch accent, a German accent. And I'm like, oh, really? And also I heard that Rafael is German. I'm like, really? Wow. <laughs> That's good. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> really? <laughs> I beg your pardon? Okay. Hey, I have to do the attendance. I forgot. Okay. Let's do that. Oops. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Where's Alan? He was here. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I thought I saw Carol too. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. José was here. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Excellent. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, teacher. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. We are staying 10 minutes, please, after the class. Miguel Ángel okay. Paz Landa Verde. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not yet. Chicos, eh, déjenme ver. One, two. Mm, we'll say three. Hay como tres compañeros que probablemente perdamos en el siguiente módulo por falta de asistencia, como Alan, por ejemplo. No, mentira. <laughs> He's like, 
What? <laughs> hey, en serio. Present, if, if he was sleeping. What? No, pero sleeping doesn't doesn't count. I mean, it's okay, but no, don't fall asleep. Come on. No, en serio, chicos. Eh, me preocupa y les agradezco a ustedes que están acá. Creo que la mayoría está acá, eh, pero sí creo que dos compañeros específicamente no creo que continúen. Eh, ya les enviaron la solicitud, creo, ¿verdad? de los documentos para el siguiente módulo. Ok, ok. Very good. Este, eso, más que todo, ¿eh? ojo con eso. Mañana no tenemos clase, ok. No hay clase mañana. Eh, si usted se conecta, va a ver una, una, una bandera de Salvador así, ondulando. Ok, so, no se conecte. Mm, I'm going to stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's continue. Jocelyn and Isela got it. Got the joke. Okay. So, what's in it today? What's in it today? What are we cooking today? Let's start with the opening question. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, doesn't matter the size, but well, let me see the, the topic first. In this unit, in this um, lesson, you will be able to identify specific details in a passage, passage related to calculating costs, costs of a product. Hey, if you start a pupuseria, do you think it's important to calculate the costs? Yes. Okay. Yes. Of course. Yeah, sure. Tomato yeah. is expensive. Tomato is expensive. So important. <laughs> yeah. Pork. Pork is expensive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have a general question for you, Justin and everybody. Um, how much? What's the percentage that you should make out of a food business? If you have a food business, how much do you have to make in revenue? Maybe the, the 60%. The 50%. Because, well, yes, 60% to, how do you say, invertive teacher, sorry. To invest. To invest and 50% for the money that will be you, that you are earning to have that kind of business. Yes, that is true, my dear, totally. My grandma, my grandma used to say, if you have a food business, you need to make at least double, you know, double in order to cover everything because it's a lot of sacrifice. Come on, having a pupuseria is killing if it is a good pupuseria, right? What do you think? Yes, it will be difficult. Wake up so early every single day, preparing all. Having to go Not so easy. early to La Tiendona, right, for the tomatoes, as Isela said. Yeah, the tomatoes, the leroux, I mean, the red chicken. Right. My mother, my mother yeah. used used to have the um used to have a pupuseria, and I didn't like it because I had to to wake up early to help her to to sell the the food and pupusas. Um, I don't know why, but she always was like like um, complaining for everything. Of <laughs> so, course. I, I I didn't like it. And and yeah, you have to you have to go to the to the um, mercado it, to the mercado, yeah. And I, and I didn't like it to go to the to the molino too. Yeah, <laughs> the meal, the meal that was yeah, it's really difficult. It Wait, the... selling pupusas in the morning is even crazier. Waking up so early, oh my god, yeah, that's even worse. Okay. And and I used to work at night, so I was working from eight a.m. eight p.m. to six to six a.m. So I I have to help her, and then 
after that she finished um, to sell the, the pupusa, I, um, I was able to, to go to, to sleep. So was well, really hard. Awesome. Hey, you were in that class. I used to, uh -huh, after she had sold her pupusas, I used to go to bed. I used to rest afterwards. Right. Afterwards. <laughs> afterwards. Excellent, Isela. Hey, I haven't asked you guys, have you ever owned a business or have you ever tried to start a business? Anybody? Even selling chicles, whatever. Yeah, in my case, I try to to, to in in a deliver business and you know deliver some food. Um, yeah, but actually, it's so hard to 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 work in that because. Uh, you need to be aware that sometimes you have difficult situations. You have to get a customer or clients and then you need to be so punctual, right? More and responsible. This, yeah, exactly. But, uh, but it's a little bit dangerous, right? You know, you know, because you don't know when are you going to 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 go, <laughs> right? And so, so then your son. Exactly, but mm -hmm. sometimes I have some difficult some issues with my motorcycle. Uh, a day, I I was I was riding my motorcycle, and then some uh, a person throw me uh, another motorcycle right and this person wants wanted to fill me off and yeah it's close to la tiendona <laughs> mm -hmm. it's um i remember that is that day that it was around 10, 10 p.m what yeah, yeah. For the reason I decided to, I to decided, stop. I decided to I stop. I decided to stop uh, mm -hmm. delivering. What right. What did you use to deliver? I mean, like Hugo or? No, actually, it's my 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 own business. Right? Your I'm, own your own food business. It's not my own. Uh, I yeah. In my case, I provide or I give my service with uh, my friend. Yeah, my friend has the product and me as a deliver. Oh, awesome. Yeah, like a association, I don't know. Yeah, society. A society, right. Business society, awesome. Okay, now, yeah. did you have costs? Yeah, I had to uh, establish my own prices for different kind of route. routes. Routes, routes. Uh -huh. Hey, really, yeah, the gas, right? Yeah. The fuel, the fuel. You got it. So. As you can see, we agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to make profit. To make profit, if you don't analyze the cost first, you don't make any profit. Yeah. In fact, they say, you know, I'm studying, I'm studying this a little bit because I have a project and a difficult decision when you provide a service, Alexander, when you provide a service, a difficult decision is how much do I charge the customers? Because if you provide a service, you don't, you don't invest on raw material. You're not converting material into another product, but you're converting knowledge, right? A service is different, so it's difficult. So what's the cost? So they say, I was reading that if you think, for example, to charge one ninety nine, let's say, if your cost is one dollar, you want to charge the double, then you have to publicize your price for three times the cost. Why? Because later you can say, oh, you know what? It's not two ninety nine. 
is 199 for you. And you're making double. Makes sense, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, and that's the way you can calculate the price of your product or your service. Now, can you name three fixed expenses? Calculate the cost of a product. <laughs> okay, can you name three fixed expenses? Do you understand fixed expenses, everybody? Yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> I don't understand. You don't? Not sure. Uh-huh, Jocelyn, Ada, Jose, Alan. Alan, you're so quiet, what's going on? Total. Have you started the party for tomorrow? Uh, no, 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 ah. no, no, after party. <laughs> oh my God, you're on the after party already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, Williams no. is laughing. Come on, guys. Present. Awesome. Okay. Hey, anybody, anybody, what's fixed expenses? Expensing always half the company. Yeah. Recurrent waste about, for example, people. rent. Rent. Um, okay, rent. Um, rent salary. Food. Salary. salary. Okay. Uh huh. Food. Mm. Water. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Energy, energy, energy. 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 energy, okay. Um, electricity in the United States, we call them utility bills. Bills, utility bills. bills. Utility bills. Recibos de, um, como se dice esto? Uh, servicios básicos, right? Service. Utility bills, the gas, because in the United States, you pay for gas at home. It's not chimbo, not tambo, right? Some places, you know, they, they still sell um, liquid gas for the house or for some businesses. But most people have plumbery. They do have plumbery. They have a uh, fixed bill for that. That's a fixed bill. That's right. They have uh, plumbery for, for the gas and so many other things. Okay. So fixed assets, salary, fixed expenses, I'm sorry. These are not assets, I'm sorry, expenses, right? Um, utility bills, salary, and yes, but food, I don't know. Gasolina. Uh, gas, yeah, definitely. And so these are fixed expenses. This is your conversation right now. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing cost is essential to make profit? Number one, have you, now think about it, the size of a business, how important is it if you're a small business or if you're a, if you're a giant, if you're an animal, a monster business, is it important still to calculate the costs for Apple, for Apple with their new phone, is it important the cost? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? This is very important. Let's go and discuss this for a few minutes and I'll bring you back. Okay. Okay. Come on, guys. Cheer up. Let's go. Send me again, please. What? Oh, the, the imitation right now, right now, Alvin. Yeah. Give me a second. Okay. I haven't received the invitation. You too? Okay, don't accept the well. first one. No, no, accept the primera, okay? Okay. Go there and it's there. Now you can do it. Alexander, why didn't you get it? Three, let me go with two. There you go. Jose Antonio, let's go. Carla Yanet, let's go. Hello, hello. René 
Roberto and Jose Antonio Cubillas. I have been, eh, voy manejando todavía, pero ya casi voy okay. llegando. Okay, don't worry. Thank you. Roberto and Jose. Yeah, uh, Roberto is driving as yeah. usual. Jose Antonio, can you hear me? Okay, okay, you know what, Elvin? Oh, there you are. Hi, Jose. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hey, there you go. Okay. Talk to Elvin. Let's start talking. The, the questions are on your WhatsApp. So continue using it. Tantrum. Uh oh, tantrum. Carolina. Hello. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Well, do you agree that regardless of the size of uh, the business analysis cost is essential to make a profit? Sorry. Yeah, tell us about it. Yeah. Yes, well, I agree. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Mm, yes, agree. Because it is important for all companies, uh, even small or big companies to make a, a good analysis about costs. Yeah. For to define the, the price. Yes, yeah, to compare what they earn and why they will invest. And what about you, Adita? Do you agree that it's important? Yes, it's very important for the depend the the the, the rubro the company is depend the 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 um and the small and long uh, company depend the essential uh, for the ganancias. Profit. Okay, so profit. The profit. Okay. Teacher, in this case, um, okay. in the word rural is like a name business. It's the same. Mm, a niche of market. Niche of market. Oh, yeah. You can also call it the line of business. L-O-B. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and what about you, William? William is here too. Yes, I agree. Uh, it is essential because not all the products that are created need the same material and the price varies. Varies. Uh -huh. Varies. That's my opinion. Okay, and you, Alexander? Mm. Ah, yeah, for me, uh, establish costs and how and know how to use it is one, one of the most important things for your business because you need to know how to invest your money. And actually, when you are able to, to know how you can invest your money, you are going to know how how money can be or can you earn how much money you can earn yeah 
in supermarket in supermarket uh, I never compare compare the product only only buy just take it from the from the store okay mm -hmm. in juice Alan? Mm. Sometimes I like to compare prices, but not all the time. Because I'm too... Uh, I'm desperate to get out from the market. I prefer to take and get out. But in this case, in the product line, um, I remember that we start a project is with uh, typical food and we mm. calculate the cost and how much they spend the time and everything and they decide to get uh, a percent of uh, the market the uh, market depends how if they export the, the product it has a different percentage of profit if we sell it in national in the country, uh, it's lower than the export uh, product. Mm -hmm. For example, you in the Salvador you can sell a um, tamale. For example, you sell a fifty cent in the United States. You can sell it like a three dollar instead. Uh, it's the same with the pupusas. <laughs> yeah, the same as the pupusas. You can buy one dollar, three for one dollar. Instead of the Zona Rosa, you buy one for one and fifty. Two and fifty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a, but it, it's, it's, it's happened because the quality of, of the taste of the product is different. Mm. I work in a company that I want to mention because, you know, <laughs> uh, the beverage company, they have two kinds of, of beverage. It's the same brand, the same name, but when they export the product to another country, they uh, use like a different uh, sugar. Mm. Yeah, it's like a more... Uh, I, how, I don't know how can I say uh, refinada. They, refined, they refined sugar. Refined sugar. Refined. But it's like a grade, the, the grade of the quality of the sugar is like A, A plus, for example. But when they use it in El Salvador to sell in El Salvador, they use uh, normal, normal sugar. That's uh, different because they sell in the United States like uh, um, two or three dollars instead of here, like 50 cents, 75 cents. It changed the cost. What else? Can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, it takes suspense. Mm -hmm. Usually we we put put it on a uh, balance uh, or or expenses and our uh, ingresos. How do you say this? Incomes. Income. Incomes, and that is a. a a way to to calculate when you when you have a work if you have profit every month but with a product i i think it's the same if you are renting a place for for your business you have to put it that expensive like uh, like fix it because you have to cover that expenses with your your earnings with your business? I'm not sure if it is uh, this 
kind of question refers to like a cost, like bar, a bar, variable cost or fixed cost. I'm not sure, but when they are talking about uh, three, uh, in my uh, I try to figure out that they are talking about, for example, the the wage of the employees. That is, uh, uh, if you don't pay extra hours over time, it can be a fixes or the service like uh, electricity, gas, everything. Like it doesn't change the the cost. Of that, of that yeah. thing doesn't cost. It's like uh, you always. Mm -hmm. In general, if oh, yeah. you have uh, employees, you have to pay the they pay wage to to to, the, to them. Yep. So you have yep. to to ¿cómo se tomar en cuenta? Take on. You have to take in account, take or in you, account. Have, you have to consider. Ah, sí, más fácil. Ajá, mejor así se escucha mejor. You have to consider like, that the expense like fixed too, because you have to cover it when you the, earns. They uh they say me that it uh, acts, uh cost that you every month is the same. It's not change, or you know that that cost uh, you have to pay every month. It will be. Yes, or if not, you can change it. You have to pay it in either way. You don't have to, you have to thinking in the, all the time you have to pay it in a fixed expense. But if you have a variable, it's different. Like a, for example, the in the transportation, the variable is like a, gas the the fuel of the the trucks because every every period of time the is higher or lower and you have to get some uh ajustes adjust i'm not sure adjustment adjustments uh -huh. adjustments, adjustments. Uh, because if you you just say to the client hey i'm going to move that in Yeah. Calculate all the costs for the shoes. And I prepare the, how you say, worksheet. Day of dispensing costs. Yeah. Okay. Well. And I help. Help to him to calculate all that. For example, um, buy the leather, the leathers, and pay uh, the other workers, and include all the costs and expenses for determining the price. To determine. Determine the price. Okay. Well, teacher, I, I say, I say, Rina and Johnny, that in my case, I have a, a company. I I opened it in 2018, is correct? Repeat again. Yes, I, I have a company. I have a, a company. Mm -hmm. And I, op I opened it in 2018. I started, I started my business on... 2018. 18. Okay. Well, in my case, uh, the calculate of the price depends on what is the kind of uh, client, for example. The calculation. Example, the calculation of the price depends on. Depends mm -hmm. On on the kind of client. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, well, in my case, I sell bicycle parts. Bicycle correct? parts. Bicycle parts or vehicle parts? Yeah, Be vehicles. Vehicle. Vehicle parts, mm -hmm. and the price is different for different clients. For example, when I I sell to aseguradoras, insurance, 
To insurances, uh huh. Yeah, when I sell to insurance, the price is more expensive. Yeah, when I sell to the, how is it that year? To, to the shop. To the shop, the price is is different. In my case, depend this because well, if I I I want to earn fifty percent, for example. I can I can earn this percent, and if you can or you can't, can can you can mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I think that depend what kind of company do you have, yeah, for for the for get the price to get the price yeah to fix the price to fix the price yeah. Excellent. Okie dokie, let's go back. Good job, guys. So you sell car parts? Yeah, but actually I don't sell uh, much because I don't have a capital. You don't have the capital to invest right yeah. now. Okay, yeah. good. But don't, don't let it go. Don't let it go. Something will come up. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, that was an interesting, an interesting, interesting topic. Let me do the attendance again, sorry. Let's do the attendance one more time. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. I'm here twice. <laughs> Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Ya Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Okay. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Where's William? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. And Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Ok. Chicos, no es regaño, eh, pero estamos fallando en varias cosas. Algunos de ustedes están viniendo bien tarde a la clase o vienen y no encienden su cámara, en especial cuando se pasa el listado. Y no quiero que les vayan a jalar, eh, perdón, a llamar la atención, voy a decir en salvadoreño. Pero eh, Insaforps puede estar auditando en algún momento esa parte de la sesión y ustedes no tienen su cámara encendida. Y cuando digo su nombre y no, nadie dice presente o no está su carita ahí, ellos pueden pensar que, uy, esta persona no contestó, no estaba ahí en la videoconferencia. Le vamos a contactar para ver qué pasó. Ya. Ojo con eso. Este, y una observación. Fíjense que ayer yo a veces... Lago de Meque, la verdad es que bastante. Eh, me pongo a ver videos de otros profesores, no solo de, de, de acá, de mi academia, de las academias para las que trabajo, de El Salvador, sino de Estados Unidos. Bill Gates eh, creó un programa para, para que los profesores de las escuelas públicas pusieran cámaras en sus salones. 
un experimento que él hizo, imagínate, invirtió en eso, porque quería mejorar la educación nacional, pues el resultado fue, wow, ¿verdad? porque muchos profesores querían, nunca se les había ocurrido verse a sí mismos, y entonces instalaron cámaras, y era como tarea, después de tu clase, tenés que ir a revisar cómo te fue en la clase, y qué cosas podrías mejorar, entonces se quedaron boquiabiertos, o sea, jole, algunos comenzaron por criticarse a sí mismos físicamente. Qué gordo estoy. No me moví en toda la clase del escritorio. O, vuela, no pasaba del mismo lugar. Como camino de encorvado, decían algunos, ¿verdad? ¿Con qué ánimos? Le hablo a los niños. Vamos a la página, no sé qué. O sea, todo, todo salía ahí. Entonces, me puse a ver hace poco a unos compañeros de este programa. No voy a decir de qué academia pero Dios mío, por favor, y les invito a que lo hagan, de verdad, y no es con el ánimo de, de, de picarme la ni nada, no, sino que señores, hay una realidad, ¿saben cuál es? Que ustedes son los beneficiarios, y yo no estoy acá para venir, y el típico error de todo profesor, de toda asignatura, no solo de inglés, creer que uno lo sabe todo, y que ustedes solo vienen a, a conocer lo que yo sé, no, ustedes hacen la clase, Ojo oh, con eso. Y, y pues lo que vi en esa clase me quedé. Conozco un amigo que estudió administración en Estados Unidos y, y es negrito y todo. Y habla súper bien. ¿Ok? Es nativo. Y, y pues ayer le estaba escuchando. Que yo, yo me gradué allá, ve que no sé qué. Pero el tema que estaba enseñando era de administración. Y era un tema tan sencillo de, de contabilidad. Y no lo pudo explicar, yo me quedé. Y pasaba esto que nos ocurre a nosotros y por eso se los estoy contando. Porque yo me siento así, dice, es que es que a lo que les voy a decir. Me siento mal cuando les pregunto y todo se queda. <ríe> y es como que, hey, ¿qué pasa? Vea? Ánimo, hombre, <ríe> hablen, suelten la lengua. No, no, what happened? <ríe> ok, bien. No more Spanish. Ok, por favor, porque si no, mi misión de profesor se queda coartada. Si ustedes no dicen nada, yo me quedo. ¿Y ahora qué? Este. So, come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's continue. Now we have a reading, ok? Ok. We're talking about costs, right? Costs. Hey, did you find any new word, any new vocabulary with your classmates? I got one. Capital gain. I was thinking when Alan said something about, I don't know if they consider this for, for, for determining the cost of something. And I thought about plusvalía, capital gain. Do you think plusvalía, capital gain, is important when you fix the price? This is a tricky question. If you start your business, do you think capital gain is important to determine the price of your product? Okay. What do you think? Do you understand the term plusvalía? Do you understand what is plusvalía? Yes, it's like a, it's like, a, I don't know if you, are, if you have realized that when you, we lost her again. She's driving home, I think. And she doesn't realize when she, she lost the connections. Okay, Jocelyn, someone. The on other. that, so lasers are, are a little bit expensive. So, uh, yes, I think expensive. That with the, with the post Balea, yeah. Exactly. One thing is more expensive in San Salvador than what it is in Santa Ana, right? Yes. yes. Okay. My aunt, listen, my aunt, well, one one of my 11 aunts, one of my 11 aunts, she didn't go to school. She finished fifth grade. 
fifth grade, but all my mother, my aunts, they're beautiful women. They're beautiful women. So this aunt, she grew up, she got married, and she moved one day to Santa Elena. She bought a house in Santa Elena and she started selling houses. She started gaining experience as Elvin, Elvin said that, that gaining experience is important. So she started selling properties, houses, and then she gained experience and she started renting the houses, but she was clever. She started renting houses to ambassadors of China, ambassadors of Russia, United States. She didn't speak English. That she was so beautiful that she she was like, okay, do you want to rent a house? She she got an interpreter, you know, she used to get help. And she told me one thing. You know, I opened a shop, a design shop, a clothes shop. And I thought, should I start this business in San Salvador's downtown or in Les Calon? I was like in shock, right? I was like 14 years old. And she was, I decided to start it on Les Calon. And it was a hit. Everybody loved the dresses, you know, the design, and they paid a lot of money. So yes, capital gain is important. Got it? When you want to establish the yeah. price. Okay, the same happens. Do you want to sell mangoes? Where do you want to sell mangoes? In El Puerto de la Libertad or here in San Salvador? Puerto de la Libertad. <laughs> really? Why? Mm -hmm. There are so many beaches there, so we can, there are more people there. So. Tourism. Tourism, yes. Tourism, totally. Okay. So you got the point. Okay, let's see. So about the reading, we need to read the following text featuring tips on how to analyze the cost of a product. And then we have some questions to answer, okay? Let's take turns reading this excerpt. I'll read it for you so you can have it on the recording on the video. I will just go ahead and read it and then you can watch it later, okay? And then I'll just go ahead and split you so you can practice with your classmates. It's very important. Just a minute. Okay. <clears throat> it is. There are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a product, the cost of production, the market demand for the product and the desired markup by the business. The cost of production, number one, fixed and variable costs determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into pro producing each unit of your product. Although it may be a difficult calculation, calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed costs to your total variable costs. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. 
you will have then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the costs of production. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As prices fall, demand rises, and as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as important to consider when setting a price as the costs of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does the demand for a product. Determining, I hate this word, determining the markup of a product. Regardless of the type of small business, markup is the amount, I'm sorry, is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planned profit. Oh, your planned profit. The type of product or service you are selling. How rapidly, how rapidly the product sells and the amount of service performed by the seller. Okay, that was for the recording. Let's get together and start reading and understanding. Okay, shall we make, I'm going to leave you the option. Should we make three groups so you can discuss this and then we have three participations to get to understand this in a few words? What do you think? Okay, free will. Yeah, free will. Okay, libre albedrío. So we have three groups. Study. Okay, I'm going to name you, name you. Alan, Elvin, Fernando, Johnny, Jose, and William. Group one. Isela, Miriam, Rina, Roberto, and Jocelyn. Group two. And the rest, group three. Ada, Alexander, Carolina, Miguel, and Sandra. Good? Okay, group one. The cost of production. Group two, market demand for a product or service. And group three, determining the markup of a product. Good? Okay. Easy. Let's go. Louise. There you go. Be there for you. The selling price. Okay, fixes and variable costs determine the selling price of business here product. Fixed costs include items such as uh, the rent for your office mm. or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change mm. with sale, volume, and light, laboral, material, and pricing. Your product 
prefer determining how much of your fees and variable costs go in producing each unit? Per unit, per unit. Okay, we have the cost production, the cost variable cost, and fixed cost. That's yeah, the yeah, variable, the variable yeah. cost uh, change uh, the when, production. when when it depends. Uh, when of your uh, volume, volume, volume and of sales or or production, maybe we we can just we can say the the variable cost is directly proportional to to the volume. To the production. volume you uh, you produce to the volume you produce that's right what's an example of variable cost the raw material the raw material, material. Mm, yeah yeah it's it's relevant it's um oh my god it is related to the volume of production if the more you produce the more raw material you use <laughs> What other? Variable pro, variable cost. Um, it's not depends that the uh, how can how do you buy it. It depends of different factors. Maybe that the reason they can change uh, frequently. Maybe the. The gas, but the gasoline, yes. Changes, yeah. 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 I, I, I think, and uh, this topic, and in in economic, it is uh, now as the as the equilibrium point because you identify with the different costs. And then you uh, put the pain or your or sales pain, the price, uh, price. Sorry, sorry, price. Uh, sales price uh, is 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 necessary identify because the company need what is the the the, the let me see the. Um, Acabo de decir la palabra. Ganancias. Pro, profit. Pro, profit. 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 Yeah. Profit. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's a equilibrium point in the cost and sales for, yeah. for the company. I'm not sure. The profit can, can be a, a cost. I'm not. Uh, it's a. It's a doubt. The, the profit can be a cost. The, the profit depends. What is the 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 price? But you need to know what is a cost. Mm -hmm. The cost of the production of production. Yeah. yeah. And then you put the price. And uh, depends. Depends to about. Um, like, like if you can sell a good product, but if the price is expensive, the demand of of customer will fall, fall. Yeah, but okay. if but if the if the cost of the product product fall. No, 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 false. Yeah, false. Mm -hmm. Full. Uh, the. Full. 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 Full.
in the case of the product fall, uh, the uh, demand of this product is going to increase. That is what, what I understand about this topic. Okay, well, what I understand here is talking about the price of the product. As the paragraph said that uh, this is the second factor uh, in a business that is very important. Uh, as you mentioned before, if the product is good, but the demand is, uh, the price is high, the demand of this product will not be so, so much because of the price that this is services offer. The demand for your process is also important to consider when setting a product cost of production. The direction of the consumer direct. Was, was $3, yeah? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Depends the demand también, no? Yeah, for me, it depends on the cost, yeah? <laughs> this example, the mango. You buy the mango oh, in three dollars. You have to sell in five dollars, for example. For for <laughs> for you get, uh, you get profit? Yeah. And but, like uh, Ada says, the demand is is a factor. Uh huh. It's important it's factor. Yes. Is 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 it, for example the mask and the pandemic depend the demand depend the cost? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think for me this is the meaning for me, but I don't know, uh, Sandra and Alex. Mm -hmm. I understand this. Yeah, the markup of a product is, yeah, is actually given by your cost. Cost. Yeah. And dependence of the graphic up area. Geographical. Uh -huh. Yeah. Why? If you if you sell if you sell mangoes uh, in Puerto de la Libertad, mm -hmm. what is the cost? This mango, for example, in Puerto La Libertad, the cost is one dollar, five dollars, for example, oh, in Salvador, the cost is three dollars. The mm -hmm. price is different in Puerto, in Puerto La Libertad, how San Salvador, yeah, mm -hmm. depends graphic, yeah, it's more expensive, it's more expensive in La Libertad, yeah, but it is only for a a product, but the extract says as well. Uh, market depend. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. What else? That's correct. that's correct. Okay. What do you think? Another, another classmate, Jose Antonio, and Fernando. Jose Antonio, where is Jose Antonio? We had to and, have and present yeah. the element, yeah. the cost. I don't know, you hear the element, the cost? Element, the cost. Yeah. Is that similar element. basic? Is that similar basic? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I read about it. It says three element, the cost, material. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I feel like I'm on the, on the university. What, Alan? I feel like I'm in a university class. Yeah, that's true. Economic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
the cost yeah. of, pro of, of the product is, is very important because cost she, if your cost uh, is over than the the market cost yeah. it's very difficult to sell that product and get profit mm. at the beginning in your business uh, you you have to consider that the first sales maybe or your first month maybe you 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 going to to lose money because you you are starting in a in a new business and the the cost of production <clears throat> uh, can change because the the variable cost yeah it's, for example where to the uh, it, 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 that not change only for the for the variable cost uh external change the, for example in, in Salvador, if you know like i think all all, all know here uh the this the minimum salary has had a, a raise in uh, starting the last month i, I think and um, all the all the products mm. Um, uh, uh, the price of the products rise because that and that is that is in a variable cost but the products uh, the, the, the people for that have business and um, uh, rise the, the price of the products because that and people who own businesses business own businesses. people who own businesses who own businesses mm -hmm. tend, let, let's say, tend to rise prices for this reason. People who own businesses tend to rise prices for this reason. Tends, tend, esa, esa no, le, no le entiendo muy bien cómo, cómo tiende, se escribe. Tiende, tiende a. Ah, tends, 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 ah, okay. tends, uh -huh. tends. tends to, right rice business to rice prices for this reason good okay and for san antonio yoni what do you think johnny looks like he is he's scared don't don't be afraid of the cost johnny the cost is going to be your friend yeah I'm, uh, when <laughs> when talking about the cost, or only remember the university, we yeah. because I remember that I have. A, but don't cry, material. please. Don't cry, please. <laughs> cost, cost, <laughs> the cost. Oh my God, the cost. The oh, only remember the test, <laughs> the final test. So that that's mater material. That's yeah. Hey Jose, what's, what's going on with you? You know about it. <laughs> like concentrated. Yeah. We love him. Antonio? But it's in many things you had to consider in the course. Yeah. When I when I talk, the cost is, is difficult for me. Mm. Why? Mm. A, a lot of a lot of work the cost in my my business. Mm. Oh really? You you didn't study um, a, a topic similar? Similar topic. Yeah, learning the learn topic. Similar topic. Similar topic. In my in my in my company, I. No, I am calculate profit mar margin 
the the products. How you do that? The the construction and building uh, a a tower tower houses. Really, but how do you do that? How is your yeah. parameters? Parameters in the, to calculate how much it costs. Calculate the three elements: the cost, the material. Yes. How do you say mano de obra? Okay. Workforce. I'm not sure. Workforce. In the indirect cost. It's actually manpower. 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 Fernandita, que me agarro, mi amor. Venga para acá. Come on, guys. You are disappointing me. You are talking about when the, the teacher is not here, you are, we are talking about a lot of things. But no, when the teacher is come, everything freeze. Other thing that the... Recording is stop. <laughs> The demand for the product will depend of the season. The season, the price. The song. Uh, uh, uh. We already have it. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yes, we have some ideas now. I guess we are ready. <laughs> okay, sure? let's go back with all group. Okay. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, more than sure. Excellent. Okay. I was given two more minutes, but yeah, let's do it. Okay, I have an area of improvement for all of you. Because I heard I heard too many times the word the words it depends. It depends. It depends. Oh. Les, hacía, les hacía falta la preposición on. It depends on the market behavior. It depends on the market behavior. So I agarré ese ejemplo y me puse a buscar otras maneras en mi cabeza de cómo decir it depends. So there's on your chat. It's up to the market behavior. It all relies on the market behavior. This may lay, this may lay on the market behavior. This is tied to the market behavior. Okay. And you can use it in many contexts, in many different contexts. Um, okay. Um, this is up to, and this is very used. Oh, that's up to Isela. That's up to Isela. Should we go to the to the beach? Okay. Oh, that's up to Fernando. It's up to Fernando. 
Okay, so stop saying it depends on, okay? Try to find other ways of saying things all the time, always. Try to find other ways of saying things, okay? It's up to you. If you want to learn English, it's up to you. Okay? Okay, so first group, Alan, Elvin, Fernando, Yoni, Jose, and William. The stage is yours. You have eh, three minutes. Okay, easy. Explain, please, about the first part. Thank you. No, no one wants to speak. Maybe. Uh... Okay, I'm going. To, I'm going to uh, try to save the time. We are talking about uh, fixes and variable cost, and that's the main uh, thing that we are going to consider it in the production. In, for example, in the mass production, it's necessary for determining how it costs. Next, it will be necessary to get uh, the profit percentage. In well, we we are talking about that. This is kind of difficult because most of the time we are just buying things, but we don't think about how it uh, considerate the the price of the product. In this case. Uh, we are talking for, for example, the fixed cost that is like uh, services, energy, water, uh, etc., rent, and the variable cost. We are talking about uh, paying the wage of the of the employees, and if it depends if we they are uh, in overtime, they paid more, and that can change the cost of the product in. Uh, we are thinking about if more things that you produce is less the cost because it is more, a, uh, how can I say, com competitive in, uh, the, in the market in the less uh, that you, if you buy mat raw material, it, the cost is going to be uh, uh, less expensive if you produce few units. And when you are, for example, assigned a profit, uh, you can, uh, uh, if you sell it in the terminate market, uh, you can give a different percentage of profit. Maybe if you are focused in a, a great market that is uh, sell, uh, you sell the, uh, an, an exclusive line, or for example, it's a special line of your product. You can sell it, you can get more profit if you sell a normal price, for example. I'm done. Okay. Um, anybody else from the group? Like uh, Alan said, uh, the cost of the production can can change uh, because of the, the location, because of the, the place, and maybe the external factor, like when, when the economy in the country on a specific place change, uh, that cost uh, the, 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 uh, the fixed expensive and the variable cost can change that 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 is because when you go to to another location and you buy the, the same product that if when to, in your location the product changes and, and and the the quality is different too so that's it excellent hey because of the location because of the location now because of the location the location when the cost change when the cost changes, changes. Changes, changes. Third person, third person, changes. remember. Cost the cost, changes. when it changes, change. it, it is a thing, it's a thing. 
Okay, so yes, guys. Uh, if there is more demand of products, oh no, no, that's the next topic. Okay, but in this case, variable costs, fixed costs. Yes, I like something you mentioned, and is that the more you produce, the more, uh, I mean, the higher, the higher your variable costs will be. I uh, like the example you gave, uh, raw materials. Raw materials, of course, if you produce more, you will use more raw materials. But there's a factor. What if, what if the main raw material that you use is cheap? If it is cheap, you know, then your costs are lower and you can produce more and that's good, right? Yeah. That makes a lot of yeah. sense. It makes a lot of sense. If you make cheese, right? And the milk goes down on price, you're, you're done. You're the happiest person. Okay, great job. Group number two. Thank you. Isela, Miriam, Rina, Roberto, and Jocelyn. Market demand for a product or service. Okay, well, a market demands describe the demand for a, for a given a product and who wants to get it. This is determined by how willing consumers are to spend a price or a, in a particular group service. The market demand increase so, so that's the price. When the demand decrease, the price will be go down uh, as well as the market. In this case, we were talking with the girls before uh, that the price can uh, can vary in depends on the play on the place, the season, and also is the the product is good or not. Someone else wants to continue. The demand on the product. We depend on the season. Of, for example, the Mr. Donuts in the month in the month of September, more time in another month. Another example may be the location of the supermarket. For example, the supermarket in Soyapango. Uh, not sell the same products that the supermarket of the the escalon um, can be it can be the export export uh, products. Only. Mm, teacher also, and this is the second factor that a business owner should be considered for a business. Okay. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. Demand and price. So if if people is earning a lot of money there's an increase in demand and there is that's like the exception to this law of demand because for example el salvador just had an increase on the wage right on the minimum wage it was increased but prices prices were not supposed to go up so even, even if you were charging $3 for an X cartoon, you know, a carton of X, if you were charging $3 and the salary increased, you can still sell for $3. There's a bigger demand. It's okay. It shouldn't affect, you know, but it does. Um, difficult word, determine. Determined. determined yeah listen determined 
determines. Determines. That, that determines. Determines. Uh, uh -huh. It is determining. It is determining. Determining. It is determining. It is determining. Be determined. Deter it's determined. Determined. Yeah, el estrés cambia en cada conjugación de esa palabra, de ese verbo. Um, o oh, adjetivo en el primer caso. Are you determined? Are you determined? Okay. When the demand increase, when the demand increases, increases. Yes, le, a, a, todo, a todos les está ocurriendo, chicos. Eh, y es con objetos figurados. No son sujetos claros, sino que objetos figurados. Piensen en eso. When the demand, que es la demanda, it. It. El sujeto sería it. Okay. Third person. Decreases. Increases. Only that. Mm. That's it. That's it. Okay. And do we have time? Yes. Third group. Ada, Alexandre, Carolina, Miguel, and Sandra. Okay. First can of you, all. Can you go down, Fer, please? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, we are going to say in that we are outraged. <laughs> The two you said that we are the rest. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and then, yeah, you could slide up, please. Fur, can you can you scroll up, fur? Scroll up first. <laughs> please <laughs> move up, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nos está ignorando Fernando, Fernando, por el amor de Dios. ¿Podrías mover para arriba la bonita? Ah, Thank you. <laughs> ok. Bye. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, in this case, actually, this is a little bit clear because uh, markup. Markup is the amount, actually, you add to your cost in order to get your final price like our selling price or price selling and yeah, your, your selling price you're right selling right okay yeah actually this is the the markup uh, but in this case uh, my partner Miguel is going to explain more about it okay well I say to my classmate that the market depends on the product we sell. For example, if it is a product that you buy and you only resell, yeah, and you only you only resell, uh, you just add the profit you want to make. For example, or taking into account your fixed cost. It's necessary the fixed cost and the profit, and you need to know the, the cost of the product if you only resell the product. But if you, if you have a product that you have to create and you need to raw material, for example, you need to know the cost of your raw material, yeah? And you have to add the profit, same, and you have to to add the fixed cost. Well, in conclusion, I think that the price of a product depends on the cost you pay, you pay, add the fixed cost you have, add the profit you want to 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 make. Sorry, but tiene miedo la pared. I'm sorry. <laughs> when you speak English, <laughs> that happens with my dog as well. My dog yeah. looks at me when I'm speaking English. Goes like, <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, so markup, markup, a synonym, margin. Margin. The margin. Oh, it's the margin. Okay, so what are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? 
the most important factors to consider when you set a price? Cost. Cost. Variable okay. Cost. Variable cost. Fixed. Fixed cost. Good. Okay, let's leave it there. What are some examples of fixed costs? Salaries. Mm -hmm. Salaries, taxes, uh-huh. Rent. Mm, rent, okay. Fixed, fixed. Bills. Bills? Electricity. Uh-huh. Well, how do we call bills. how we call uh-huh? Utility <laughs> bills, electricity, water, etc. What are examples of variable costs? Raw material. Raw materials. Wow. Okay. Okay. What else? Okay. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Hey. Nice. What happened to the masks? Mask. At the beginning of the COVID, yeah. I, I was selling masks super rápido. Yo estaba vendiendo mascarillas en AN95, esa cosa. KN95. Man, yo la vendía por cinco dólares, papá. Y no habían. Y no habían. Mira, llegué a vender por 25 dólares la caja. I was like, what? Y empecé a vender um, trajes de bioseguridad, lentes, de todo. Man, me hice de un inventario. Ahí tengo todas las mascarillas y voy a dólar la caja. Oh, my God. That's crazy. No, of, course. of course. OK, so why? ¿Por qué? Porque la demanda se incrementó. Se disparó la demanda por la pandemia y no había suficiente stock en el mercado. Pero las farmacéuticas toparon los anaqueles súper rápido y se vino abajo otra vez el precio. Okay. También las vitaminas, teacher, se fueron al Vitamins, cielo. yes. No. Same thing. Ok. And, y eso es prácticamente las cinco. What variables influence to determine the market percentage? Esa es una variable increíble. The fluctuation. Vamos a hablar de eso en la siguiente clase, ok. I want to let you sleep, rest. Tomorrow, no class, remember. Yo buscando el botón para dejar de compartir. I was like, where is the button? <laughs> oh my God. Lo okay. hackearon. Ajá, no. me hackearon. No, ¿sabes qué me pasó con un alumno de un grupo cerrado? eran 15 bichos, todos bichos y no me acuerdo ah, le dije teacher, ¿usted le va al Barcelona o al, al Real? me dice y yo, ah, al Barcelona le digo, ah, vaya me dice, ya va a ver, teacher y estábamos hablando, continuamos con la clase y de repente se me apagó la cámara y el micrófono y yo, qué raro y seguimos, ¿no? Al rato, otra vez yo, y este güey, hasta el día de hoy, me pregunto cómo lo hizo. No tengo ni idea, no menor idea. It was really weird. So, okay, let's go, guys. Gracias por lo de <laughs> Hey, descansen. No salgan mañana, por favor. Es, hay muchos rumores de que está fea la situación. So, remain rest, okay? Hay que, hay que desfilar, teacher. <clears throat> no, hombre. A la Cáceres <laughs> Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano Cristín. Ya ven que por lo que le pasa eso. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Gisela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Happy Independence Day. Sí. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Present. Thank you. Juan Marcos Guzmán, Carla Yaneda Maya Herrera. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. 
René Alfonso, Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Wendy, Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Luzan y Mel de Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night. And good night, Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. Mrs. Rivas. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Uh, so far, so good. I am tired. 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 Difficult. Tired. Okay. Tired. This is something simple to avoid feeling this nine minutes. Have you been practicing? Not really. What? I got so many problems. And in the really? last day, my daughter got sick and I went to the hospital. And that was I, on Monday. I was uh, I was not in class because my daughter was at the hospital Friday night. Oh my God! How how's she yes. doing? Uh, she is going well now. She got COVID twice. She's got COVID. Yes, twice. But now she's okay. So she was positive. What about you? She was positive. Now I am a positive because I got the vaccine and I got the Pfizer. That is the better one. And yeah, I, I got know. I got the Pfizer too. Yeah. I am a, I am a positive. So yes. you you didn't and get any symptoms, nothing. No, for this moment I had not received any. I just I am tired and kind of stressed because the mm -hmm. issue that I got. But in this case, I'm doing well. And so anyway. far. So far, I'm doing well. So far, I'm doing well. Awesome. So far, I'm doing well. Okay, let's avoid some uh, little details here. Um, what's your common day like? What is your common day like? I don't want to say, what do you do every day? No. What's your common day like? Describe a day in your life. Wait, a day in my life is I wake up so early. Every single day at 6 30 a.m. because I need to uh, first I take a shower, I brush my teeth, I prepare the breakfast, then uh, I must no, prepare. No, I know you do all that. Be more natural, more you. Para hacer esto hagamos un ejercicio. Fíjate que a mí me funciona pedirle a los alumnos que se inmersan en la idea de hablar así suelto porque normalmente no le decía a alguien no hombre yo me levanto temprano me lavo los dientes me he visto eh. normalmente en general así pensar de manera general como que si estuvieras vi viendo tu vida oh my god eso está en un libro uh, a ver a ver view a ver view of your life ya se suena como una vista de, de pájaro de tu vida <laughs> how is it ¿Qué haces? okay one more time one two three describe a day in your life well a day in my life is pretty stressful because i work for 10 hours this is a stress but anyway this is my job and i need the money so what can i do okay but so... at the end it's the luck yeah. mm -hmm. okay how yes, can we I extend just... extend a little bit more. I not just worry in the job that I do. I work as a mother. I work as a family member. Mm -hmm. Yes. What else can tell you about my common day? It's a typical day that I, every woman does that uh, take a shower. Do. What's, what stresses you? What stresses mm. you? Well, uh, I am stressed about the time. Sometimes when I have lunch, I need to prepare the lunch in an hour. That is my lunch time. <laughs> yeah. So you don't take yes. food? You don't take food to work? Um, not really. Okay. You could, I, I, I'm just picturing you, you know, I have to prepare my food in one hour because I only have one hour for lunch. And what I hate the most is that sometimes the microwave is not working or the cook is the cooker is not working, you know, the oven is not working. And sometimes I only have one hour. So that's what really stresses me. 
every day and then I come home you know and I have to deal with the baby play with her and and sometimes I watch I watch TV I love series so be very specific puedes inventarte eso aunque no sea lo que hagas pero trata de ser más descriptiva en las cositas que va diciendo como en las acciones que llevas a cabo eso eso dice mucho en una entrevista por eso se está haciendo este como test una cosa vamos a seguir de nuevo pero work final sounds remember work 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 work, work. Okay. there you go okay um you're gonna laugh about this what's your daughter's daily routine what does she do in oh my god general okay camila's daily routine she wake up at 7 a.m. every single day because she loves to go to school. She really loves to go to kinder. And she has mentioned, Mommy, I want to eat for breakfast. And, no cereal. I want some eggs with ketchup and palm Frances. Okay, go ahead. Uh, quickly, you must eat fast. And we are, okay, Camila, quickly. And she started uh, watching the TV before going to school. And then, uh, 7.45 a.m. she say, okay, it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning because she know now the time. And she say, goodbye, mom. And take her lunchbox and she, she asked you before, what did you put me? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I mentioned an apple, a sandwich, yogurt, uh, juice. Okay, and she mentioned, I don't want apples. I want a banana. I want so, something else, like a peach <laughs> or something else, but I don't want to really do it. And she okay. also mentioned, I want some vegetables because I uh, there are so many kids that in her school, they're supposed to see their mothers cook them vegetables, but I really, know, I really don't know. Maybe it's something that is not real, that is not true from her. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you were able to speak more about your daughter than about yourself. That tells because a she lot. drives me crazy. She's your world. She's just. She's your yeah, world. She's just almost by yourself. She's, she's just. So, is she, do you know something? She's so smart. So smart. Yeah, kids, she kids is, nowadays are extremely smart. But is, does she use a cell phone? Does she wear your cell phone? Yes, a cell phone, a tablet, and also, uh, who do you say? She's special, by the way. She, she's uh, she's special. What do you yes. mean? What do you mean she's like, special? Hyper? Aut autism? autism? Are you sure? Yes, Are you she sure? Is. Yes. She is. So you cannot. I mean, only you can touch her, for example. No. In this Not, case, she now is, uh, she increased. She started taking classes when she was almost just two years old uh -huh. because I was a bite. You must play her to the kinder in the beginner mater maternal because she must be social. If not, you will not be able be to she won't be have able with to... her to go to a party mm -hmm. because uh, autism are no social, no social people. Autism. But she is now, she has so many, so many friends but she sometimes is scared. What? She's scared about people, yes, sometimes. Uh, yes, if you <sighs> say, hello, okay. Camila, she will not, mm, okay. But later, if she um, start talking with you, uh, she will ask you so many questions about you. What, what did you eat? How many children do you have? <laughs> How okay. old are you? Yeah, yes. one of my kids is like that, but that's because he's very hyper. Hey. Really quick, third person, she starts, she says, uh, she knows. knows what, uh, uh -huh. She goes like, and this is very important. What did you put me now? What's for breakfast? She always goes like, and this is very American. Fresa, pero very American. And then she goes like, mom, what's, on, what's for breakfast? Mom, what's for lunch? It's like, what's on my lunchbox, okay? She also mentions, she tells me, she goes like, okay? Try to okay. use that a lot. 
And then I go like, and then she goes like, <laughs> suena ridículo a veces, pero lo ocupan bastante los americanos. <laughs> ok. Hope you rest. Descanse muchísimo, señorita. Pídale a Dios que le dé fuerzas todos los días con esa bebé. Y ánimo, oh, ánimo, yes. ánimo. Yo sé que es el centro de tu vida. So, cuida la mala, grosona, todo lo que puedas, porque después crecen. Yo tengo una de seis y me vuelve loco también, pero de amor. So, take care. Oh, nice. Good night. Okay, take care. Happy Independence Day. Thank you. Same to you. <laughs>